Assalamu alaikum to respected chairperson, uh, my teacher, Professor T. Chaudhry, and this respected audience. My, I know each and every one of you here wants to eliminate fistula from Bangladesh by 2030. Let's see how the way to 2030 for fistula elimination. I like to start with the story of these young girls. Like, just look at the face of this baby mother, mother of a dead baby. She got married at the age of 11. Before, immediately after marriage, she got pregnant. Don't know how. Before her 13th birthday, she went in labor. She was in labor for days. No one in her family delivered in hospital, and they didn't think about it also, that she'd need hospital delivery. They pulled the baby out, a dead baby, and presented her a fistula. This is not the story of Fahima only. There are thousands of Fahima in this country who are more unfortunate than Fahima because Fahima got a chance to come to us and her fistula was repaired and she cured. Her husband left her as soon as she got the fistula and sent her to parents' house. So this is the real situation of the fistula in Bangladesh. The fistula is an abnormal communication uh, between the urinary tract and the urinary bladder rectum with birth passages occurs due to the complication of neglected, prolonged, and obstructed labor that leads to continuous leakage of the urine and the stool throughout the whole day and night, making the woman outcast due to her foul smell her, uh, everybody considered her dirty, thrown by the husband, family, and society. Sometimes this fistula also occurs as a complication of some surgeries, like cesarean section, hysterectomy, and also some operation in and around the bladder. If you look at the, just to show you the diagram, the uh, how if when a baby gets obstructed, the baby's head continuously push the bladder anteriorly and rectum posteriorly with the birth passes, ultimately leads to the formation of a hole between the bladder and vagina or through the, between the rectum and vagina. If you think about the types of fistula, though the obstetric and iatrogenic fistula at the main fistula, but there are some more fistulas also. Look at the characteristics of the fistula victims. It is a little bit different between the obstetric fistula and iatrogenic fistula, but the, both the victims faces the social ostracization and inability to work due to debilitating condition, this incontinence. And the obstetric fistula patients cannot prevent, cannot uh, prevent or access to treatment due to the lack of awareness and affordability. Fistula occurs across the stages of life based on different types of fistula. Just we look at the global scenario. It is a condition mostly occurs in sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia. Develops in 50,000 to 200,000 new cases every year, and two million women are suffering. Countries where the maternal mortality is high, it develops two to three cases per thousand deliveries. Fistula scenario in Bangladesh, 42 per 100,000 women who have at least one birth have an obstetric fistula. 
it is estimated that 19,755 obstetric fistulas surviving in Bangladesh. If you have a little bit incontinence, how we feel, and this about 20,000 women in our country are living with this condition. We have some uh, situations like more than one third of our deliveries that is still occur at home, which increases the risk of development of obstetric fistula. If you look at the types of obstetric fistula, obstetric fist, according to the annual report of 2021, 477 cases are operated. Among them, 2373 are obstetric fistula, and 191 was iatrogenic fistula. That means 57 percent of total cases are obstetric fistula. But iatrogenic fistula is rising, which becomes 40 percent, much more than before. So iatrogenic fistula became an emerging threat, contributing significantly to the burden of genital fistula in low-income countries. Fistula Care Plus conduct a study and have shown that among the countries, Bangladesh has the highest iatrogenic fistula, even comparing with some African countries. It ranges from 15 to 36 percent between 20, 2014 to 2016. And among the surgeries, which surgeries is responsible? It is the hysterectomy. Uh, in, from the report of Bangladesh, have, it is the annual report of obstetric fistula in 2019-2021. Persistently, uh, hysterectomy is the major cause of iatrogenic fistula. What are the initiatives taken to address obstetric fistula? Some personal and private initiatives for fistula management started long before, when even we are a student. Later, government and private organizations took action together in fistula management. That is very late in 2003, when the UNFPA launched campaign to end fistula to combat, in 2003, to combat fistula. Ministry of Health took a programmatic approach to address the issue. Bangladesh launched its second national strategy for obstetric fistula to eliminate obstetric fistula by 2030. The six strategic directions are included in the national, second national strategy, that is like raising public awareness, prevention of fistula, improving treatment of fistula care, monitoring of quality of care, psychosocial rehabilitation and reintegration, generating data through research. Sorry. Prevention, to end fistula by 2030, what achievement we have and what challenges. Four key areas like prevention, treatment, rehabilitation, and reintegration and research. If we think about the prevention, our achievement is obstetric fistula has been reduced, and maternal mortality due to obstructed labor also reduced from 7% to 3% from 2020 to 10 to 2016 and there is raise in facility deliveries, and delivery by trained persons also had increased. The challenges is uh, still 30% of the deliveries are conducted by the medically trained persons. Three delays are still exist in hard to reach areas. Early marriage, early, child, early childbearing, low contraceptive use are prevailing in different parts of the country. Delivery by cesarean section, in many cases, unnecessary cesarean section has increased, and that is also responsible for, for some surgical fistulas. There is la lack of rules and regulation to stop iatrogenic fistula. Treatment. For the treatment, our achievement, 15 centers are performing fist fistula surgery and totally conduct, uh, performed 300 to 500 surgeries per year. Ponchogor declared 
as a fistula free, a fistula free a structure programs are identified for uh, identifying fistula implemented in Rangpur, Silet, Cox Bazaar, and patients are referred to LAM, LAM, MAMS, and Hope Hospitals. MAMS Institute provides regular training on fistula surgery and other pelvic floor reconstructive surgery. In addition, I must mention our National Fistula Center in Dhaka Medical College is conducting the fistula surgery regularly. Our challenge is lack of recent estimation of fistula burden, lack of systematic and programmatic approach for case identification and referral, need for national database on fistula, lack of national protocol for systematic approach to fistula surgery. We have backlog of 19,755, but we have also shortage of fistula surgeons and nurses. Rehabilitation, there is minimal supports and rehabilitation efforts on fistula patients, primarily from personal and program, personal and organizational initiatives. The government had a dedicated rehabilitation center before, but not functioning now. Funding and for rehabilitation reintegration is lacking. PFRD is a challenge and to identify them in the community and to assess their need and to support them for reintegration. Research, there is a large gap in the field of research in female genital fistula in Bangladesh. Some following research are, we need to be addressed. What is the current prevalence of fistula? How community-based health interventions be implemented to prevent obstetric fistula in places where home births are widespread and medical facilities the scarce? How the young surgeons, uh, why the young surgeons are not interested to be fistula surgeon? How PFRD cases can be identified and reintegrated in the society? Lack of baseline data to conduct research, and there is lack of funding. Uh, MAMS Institute received an award from Ministry of from Integrated Health Science Research and Development on PA to conduct research on PFRD. Way forward to increase, to prevent obstetric fistula, uh, there should be increase in availability, accessibility of quality of UMC services. To prevent iatrogenic fistula, there should be training on safe surgery, safe hysterectomy, and safe seizure and section. Advocacy to increase the awareness amongst general population through mid involvement of the media, influential persons and religious leaders. Inclusion of fistula elimination program in government's operational plan regularly. Int intensify countrywide campaign for fistula patients identification. Increase the number of repairs by training and developing new fistula surgeons. Explaining the road ahead with simple arithmetic, we have three years ahead. We have about 20,000 backlogs. And if you, if you divide this by seven, it will be 2,800. If we have, if you get at least 20 fistula surgeons who are working throughout the year, they need to do 140 uh, cases per year. That means 12 cases per month which is not really a very big number. So each surgeon does 12 cases per month or three cases per week, then 20 surgeons can complete operating the backlog, 20,000 cases in seven years, unless there is new cases. So how can we do it alone? No one can do it. We need to work together to bring the positive change. We need to have gynecologists, urologists, plastic surgeons, general surgeons. Even I don't mind if trained fistula surgeons work along with research organizations. Collectively, we can eliminate fistula from this country. Appeal from fistula survivors. You all donate. I am telling about the Muslims. Non-Muslims also have some sorts of donation system. 2.5% of our Euro wealth as Jakarta. This is an appeal from fistula patients. Please donate 2.5% of your time and expertise. 
to give us our new life back. So in conclusion, I'd like to say fistula means discrimination, discrimination of wealth, social status, dignity. Fistula, fistula means violation, violation of rights of being a human. Fistula means injustice, injustice to motherhood, injustice to the repro violation of the reproductive rights of the women. Reproductive rights of the women. Fistula means stigma, a stigma that makes women feel like a garbage. It's not a, it's, it, it is not really right to give the women that, that life. So let us end this discrimination, violation, stigma, and injustice. Let's end fistula now. Thank you all.